Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So yesterday I asked you to submit all of your arrow and flash questions, so I picked 10 of them to answer in this video with one bonus question. Generally, everyone had a lot of questions about Amanda Waller in Hong Kong, but since Stephen Amell has started teasing what's gonna be happening in season three, we actually have a lot more interesting stuff to talk about. Real quick, if you're finding me for the first time, I try to do Marvel and DC videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Also, I'm working on a special Star Wars Episode 7 spinoff video for later tonight, and I'm getting to see Maleficent, so that review is going to post on Friday. Now, let's talk about the unholy union of Amanda Waller and Oliver and some Flash whatnot. So, question one comes from Jedi Knight. Do you think we'll ever get to see Slade's son in present day? So, you're talking about Jericho. Yes, I definitely think we'll eventually see him. Jericho appearing is completely dependent upon Slade's role on the show. If they use him as part of the larger story, then I think it would be a really good opportunity to bring Jericho on. Even if they decide not to feature Slade though, they could always bring on a new character under a false name and then just develop him into like the new Roy type persona. Cut to the end of the season and we find out that it's really Jericho in disguise, but he has no idea what Slade did in season 2 or that Oliver was responsible for putting him in an Argus prison. They mentioned him a couple times between season one and season two, so they have to show him eventually, or at least tell us what happened to him when Slade was marooned on the island. I'd really like to know if Slade ever tried to contact him after he escaped the island, but he was pretty juiced up with Mirakuru, so I would not be surprised if he didn't. Question number two, Jamer asks, where did Slade's powers and enhanced brain function go? And will they use the metahuman plot on the Flash TV show to give Laurel real Black Canary powers? So when the Mirakuru in his bloodstream went away, all the benefits went away too. The Mirakuru was mostly a drug for repairing human tissue that also just happened to bestow super strength. It didn't make Slade super smart like he is in the comics. They changed all that. He's still super clever, but the only real mental side effects of the Mirakuru were giving him shadow hallucinations. And no, I don't think that Laurel's going to become a metahuman. Even if she did, they would do it on Arrow and not on the Flash. The crossover material that they do for Arrow and Flash will be more about them trying to defeat a common villain. It's unclear how involved Oliver is going to get in the whole particle accelerator explosion dark energy plot that's going on in the Flash that we saw in the trailer. My guess is, is that all the new metahumans will get their powers from that. So if you were not in Central City in the blast radius when that went off, you're not going to become a metahuman, at least based on that. Question number three, Coco Tix asks, since Oliver is in Hong Kong, will we get new characters in the flashbacks? Totally. I'm also expecting to see some familiar faces too. As for who some of those characters might be, I think it'll mostly be international superheroes and villains. Otherwise, why make it happen in Hong Kong? It's such a port of call on that side of the world. You know, naturally, a lot of criminal elements in the DC universe would pass through there at some point. Amanda Waller, as teased during season one, was there to destabilize the Chinese government. Presumably, the flashbacks will tell that story and explain what else she was doing there. Question number four, Malicious asks, do you think that Komodo or Onomatopoeia is going to be a major or minor villain in Arrow Season 3? So I think that Komodo is more likely, but they actually gave a lot of his character traits and things about him to Slade in Season 2. In the comics, Komodo creates this major plan to make Oliver lose all his money, and Oliver shoots one of his eyes out with an arrow, so they've already combined a lot of that character with Deathstroke. But it's totally possible that they could use the character and just change the backstory to focus more on his history with Shadow. If you're not familiar with Komodo, his real name is Simon LaCroix, and he just grew up working for Queen Industries. Robert Queen, Oliver's father, taught him to use a bow, and eventually he turned evil. Question number five, John Harper asks, do you think that John Diggle will become Green Lantern? If not, do you think that the Green Lantern will be in Arrow or Flash? So I don't think they would do something like, you know, bestowing that kind of power on a character without a big multi-season arc. It's not way too big for just one season. But because Hal Jordan is the most iconic Green Lantern, I think that the Flash TV show would get first crack at teasing that character, just because Jordan is also a Central City character. They have teased Ferris Airlines already, so I do think we'll get more Green Lantern teasers, regardless. If they do anything with Diggle related to Green Lantern, I think it'll just be having him make some jokes about green costumes, rings, or making him rhyme something like the Green Lantern motto. In terms of actually seeing a physical Green Lantern character on Arrow of the Flash, definitely. I think that's going to happen eventually. Because the movie at Warner Brothers flopped so bad, I think they're going to be much more willing to let the character come to television. You know, normally they kind of hold like Superman and Batman up just as like movie characters because they make so much money. 
It did take about two years to get to Barry Allen though, so do not expect another spin-off character like that until Arrow Season 4 or like Flash Season 2. Question number six, Jacob and asks, Hey Charlie, how about a shout out? My birthday is on Saturday. So everybody be sure to give Jack a birthday high five. Happy birthday, buddy. Question number seven, Daedalus asks, What other non-natural abilities or powers will appear on Arrow? So it looks like they've been able to do a pretty good job with weather and energy based effects just looking at the Flash trailer. Because Oliver's not a superhuman though, I think they're just going to steer away from comic book characters with crazy powers, at least on Arrow. It just makes more sense to put Oliver next to other characters with similar abilities. There are always exceptions to that, and its name right now is Barry Allen, but he's only going to be right next to Oliver on screen a couple times this year. The Flash TV show is a whole different story because he's got crazy powers via the Speed Force. Those limitations you have with Oliver or characters like Oliver are totally out the window. Just because I am a sucker for the classics, I think some of the first powers we do get to see will be like the rogue based powers, like Captain Cold freezing stuff. Question number eight, Adrian asks, do you think we'll get to see the League of Assassins in the Hong Kong flashbacks? That would be so awesome. I think we'll at least see some references to them. I don't think they're going to be the primary antagonist like Ed Fires was on the island. Oliver did say that he heard things about Ra's al Ghul, so he had to hear them from somewhere. It does stand to reason that that place where he heard all about him could be Hong Kong. Question number nine, Naloy asks, is there going to be any reference to the Flashpoint storyline on the Flash TV series? So they're starting off the show with a modified version of Rebirth and the New 52 origin story. Jeff Johns is writing on the staff and he wrote Flash for a long time so expect lots of references to Golden Age, Silver Age, and recent Flash stuff, Flashpoint included. But since Flashpoint was such a universe altering event, I think they're just going to make references to it. The particle accelerator explosion is kind of the MacGuffin for season 1 with the dark energy it released creating all these new metahumans. That's going to be where they mine most of the story from week to week. So that's probably the closest you'll get to like a Flashpoint universe altering event. Question number 10, Alex asks, do you think we'll see Felicity flashbacks from before she met Oliver? So originally, whenever Stephen Amell teased about us learning more about Felicity in season two, he made it sound like we were supposed to see a lot more stuff and then maybe they shot it and it got cut out at the last minute. I don't expect to see a lot of that cut out stuff in flashbacks like we get with Hong Kong and the island, but I do think Felicity will start talking about her past before she met everyone, or at least talk about it more than she has in the past. Usually it takes something really traumatic to happen to a character before they start talking about their past a lot, so I think something with Felicity's family is going to happen that makes her really upset, and she's just going to start talking to Oliver about it. I don't think she's going to get like a solo episode where she goes off on her own without Team Arrow for an entire hour though. So if we do learn more about Felicity, I think it will be in present day and she'll just be talking about things that happened to her or we'll meet that family. And one last bonus question. Lord Laxton asks, do you think that they'll introduce a new supervillain in season three like they did in season two when they brought on Barry Allen? So you're actually just asking, like, are they going to bring someone new on the show that's a comic book character? They just big enough to sustain their own spinoff, you know, like a really big villain character. I think they'll definitely bring someone in who can stand by themselves. They'd have to just to top Deathstroke, but I think whoever it ends up being will be more of a, a lateral move. Like, they're not going to go with a supervillain that has crazy superpowers. It'll be someone like Deathstroke or Merlin who Oliver actually has a chance of defeating, you know, with a little help from Felicity, of course. I'm sure whenever Comic-Con comes along, Stephen Amell will be teasing more Season 3 villain stuff, so that's probably when we're going to get our best info. So thank you so much everyone for submitting your questions. My next Arrow and Flash video will post next Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Feel free to leave me suggestions for bonus topics too. And like I said, I'm also working on a special Star Wars video that I'm going to post like late late tonight, and then I'm seeing Maleficent, so that review will post on Friday. Right now. Click here to get that Star Wars video, and you can click here to learn more about Arrow Season 3. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.